Hey guys, it's Cornell here, and today we're gonna go through PC Tips 101 here. So I'm gonna go through specifically today uh, just a part that you might look over in your new PC that is very, very important here. So the first part that we really wanna go over are RAM kits. So RAM kits can actually make a huge difference in terms of FPS in your game. And you know those like gunfights that you usually lose but you think you could win and stuff like that but you didn't see the enemy first and stuff? This is part of the reason why you lose some of those gunfights here because your 0.1% FPS, which is usually your FPS in gunfights, is a little lower than your average FPS and it's lower because you don't have really great RAM kits. Um, so let me go over just a quick general guide of what you guys have to follow to be able to get the best performance here. So for Hynix DDR5, what I would suggest is Hynix RAM kits here. So we suggest the 6400 megahertz to 7200 megahertz if you're going 3900K, um, T-Force or G-Scale RAM kits. So these are usually the best. They usually tune the best from our experience so far and we'll keep you guys updated on this. But these are definitely very, very good in terms of 0.1% FPS lows which translates to better in your overall gunfight. So you definitely want a pair of these if you want to take it to the next level uh, and take your gaming to the next level. Now with DDR4, and I apologize for all these weird names and terminologies. I'm gonna make it as simple as possible, guys, but this is very important that you know this for your new PC or your upgrades. So DDR4, if you're on a DDR4 motherboard, you want probably um, B-Die RAM kit. So a good safe, pairing of BDOT is probably the G skills, 2x16, 3600 megahertz, CL 141414 timings. Now, a lot of people go online and they just see CL14 and they think, oh, this is the right RAM kit. But no, guys, you have to check those first four timings there or you can get swindled uh, when it comes to RAM. So when you are buying RAM, always check the first four timings and you should be good to go. CL 14, 14, 14, that should be the best BDI RAM out there currently right now. Now, for max performance on your RAM kits, especially if you're on DDR5 and you wanna take it to the next level, we always recommend that you pair your Hynix with some sort of RAM fan because Hynix and some DDR4s when you're tuning in and stuff like that can be very temperature sensitive. So how do you lower those temperatures? You get a RAM fan or you just do a custom loop with like RAM cooling and stuff like that. But this is generally the best way that you can take your Hynix to the next level, take the, those 0.1% to the next level and increase those so you can win those gunfights and see your opponent quicker. That's what it's all about. Seeing your opponent first is huge in FPS games and games in general. So this will give you the edge over all of your opponents and you're gonna notice it immediately how smooth your game is. This is generally what makes your game smooth or not, your RAM kits. So make sure that you get either T-Force or G-Scale uh, RAM kits. I suggest 6400 megahertz if you're on Intel looking for a 3900K or something like that. Or if you're on Ryzen DDR5, you need to get the 6000 uh, megahertz AMD Expo RAM kits. That way you could just enable XMP and you're good. If you wanna tune it more, you can, but at least you can just boot up your PC right there. So that's what I would suggest. And I always suggest two times 16 because that generally gives just really good performance or you get two times 32. But again, breakdown. For seeing your opponents earlier, what you're gonna wanna do is for DDR5, get Hynix RAM kits with those exact megahertz that I stated right there. For DDR4, get BDI RAM kits with those exact specs that I stated right there. It's usually G skills. Um, and for max performance, you want a RAM fan, and this is going to take your gaming to the next level here. And remember, if you have a Ryzen uh, 7000 series CPU, you want to get a RAM kit with AMD Expo on it. You don't want to come home and your PC, you turn on your PC, you're trying to enable XMP and it's not working. This will prevent that if you are on AMD here. So I hope this helps guys in general. This is just a quick little uh, guide here uh, in case you are upgrading or building a new PC. So I hope that helps and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day here.